going on? Right, we in here. We're getting ready to do our live Facebook Facebook live. We got TE. Heather just ran out of the camera, but she's important. <laughs> she's uh, helping us put all this together. But we're about to talk to everyone about something special that my dad's got going on. Take them to the pictures. Let's show them what we got going on. April 29th and 30th, Kingdom Been Rising. The movie is in theaters at a theater near you. And I can't be more proud of the man, the legend, the one, Dr. Tony. What's going on everybody? It's Jonathan Evans. I'm here with my dad, the extraordinaire, Dr. Tony Evans. Say hey to the people, Dr. Tony Evans. Hello everybody. It's good to be here. We're, have, we're excited to have another opportunity to talk to you, the social media community. I wanted to show you a book that my dad and I wrote together. It's Kingdom Family Devotionals. And because I remember uh, my dad always being at the table, my dad and mom were there. My dad would ask my mom, uh, to cook uh, so that we can have dinner around the table. He asked her for two reasons. For number one, uh, he can't cook. And number two, he can't cook. So uh, because of that, he asked her to do that. She prepared it and he would lead us at the table. Uh, Genesis 18, 19, teaching us righteousness and justice. Open up the Bible, tell us all to read a scripture um, and then tell him what we thought it meant, which usually he was like, eh, wrong, and let me tell you what it really means, because he's the great philosopher. But he was leading us, and that's something that all of my siblings remember. So we wrote this book, Kingdom Family Devotionals, so that other dads and moms can take this as a tool, sit down with your kids, get them away from the electronics, and lead them in righteousness and justice, Genesis 18, 19. And that's what we want to talk about today. We want to talk about specifically manhood because we have this great movie coming out, a movie coming out. Dr. Tony Evans is right behind me. Kingdom Men Rising in theaters, April 29th and the 30th this year. So we want you to plan those days to take your husbands, ladies, take your boyfriends, men, get your guys, your friends, and get into the theaters to see this because we really need men in our culture. So talk to us about uh, the lack of manhood in our culture and, and the, the devolving that's happening because no one's at the table. Well, you know, um, God asked uh, Adam a, a key question. He said, Adam, where are you? He didn't ask Adam and Eve, where are y'all? He said, Adam, where are you? In other words, God was holding that man responsible. And the key to the whole concept of kingdom man is responsibility under God. And what a lot of men want is they want the acknowledgement of manhood without the submission of their manhood to God. And the scripture you talked about, Genesis 18, 19, he tells Abraham, if you want a nation to be built, let's start with your own home. A lot of folk want to change the White House when they're not even willing to invest in their house. And so, uh, uh, so it, it's got to start there. He says, train your children in two things. Righteousness, your standing before God, and justice, your equity among men. And we're missing both. We're missing righteousness and justice, or righteousness uh, versus justice. When he told Abraham, no, you need to train your children to be right before God and fair among people. And when those two are brought together, then you're raising up a generation that can make a difference in a culture that's becoming a disaster. And so how do we, uh, you have a, uh, fortunately for me, I had you. So, but 70% in the African American community don't have dads. 40% in rising in the Anglo community don't have dads. I mean, all over, there, there's no blueprint given so that they know how to, which is one of the reasons we wrote this to help, but there's no uh, blueprint given to how to actually do this? How do I change the trajectory of my family when I don't even know how it works? Well, you have to start somewhere. I mean, you know, the, the way you get through a mile is taking the first step. And the first step is to use the table for more than eating. I mean, you're there. You're sitting there. We have a tool that you can use with your family to give you a start. So you don't have to know it all, but you have to start somewhere. And if you will say, okay, for well, this one hour around the table, as much as you can be there, twice a week, three times a week, start with one day a week, if, if that's all you can start with, and say, this is where we're around the table. TV is off, phones are off, 
uh, the tablets are off. That's right. Everything is off right now. And it's about me and this family. And you say like Joshua, as for me and my house, Joshua 24, 15, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to sit at this table. I'm going to read this devotional. I'm going to pray for each one of you. Or have one of you pray. And if you just start that, and do it consistently. Because one of the big problems with men is inconsistent. <laughs> we'll start yeah. and then we'll stop. But if you consider and then build on that, then you will have developed a different atmosphere in the home. And when you get a different atmosphere, when, when the air smells better, because you change the atmosphere, you change the thermostat, now over time, you'll see people begin to adjust mm -hmm. to your leadership. You're not just a leader by title. You gotta be a leader by function. You got to be a leader by function, and the reality is, is this is your story. And in future weeks, we'll go into your story. But Two Daddy, who we call Two Daddy and Two Mama, are his parents, uh, but started in a non-Christian home. So it actually started with him, which changed the trajectory of all of us. And when so, he became a Christian and he began to do that around our table, it changed my trajectory, which changed my family's trajectory, which changed my grandchildren's trajectory. So change the trajectory. You can't change where you came from, but you can say a lot about where you're going. So don't go to where you came from, go to where you ought to be. And that's, that's the hardest thing. And you talked about Adam and, and taking the responsibility. And one thing you told me uh, before I got married, because this is important, because you have some men that are thinking, well, it's kind of the woman that God gave me, right? There, there's, just, there's all of these problems. You know, my baby mom won't cooperate, so I can't get here and there and all of these different problems that are real. They're wow. real problems that men are, are facing to try to even start doing what you're doing. And then you gave me the illustration, well, it's not the coach that fumbles, it's not the coach that throws the interception, but he's the one who gets fired because he's responsible. So how do I take responsibility even with all of these obstacles that are built in my life? Well, that's the beauty of manhood. You know, the subtitle of this movie, Kingdom and Rising, is no more excuses. So first of all, you got to get rid of your excuses, okay, and say, it's my responsibility. Since it's my responsibility, I'm not going to blame somebody else for what I should be taking care of. So if your wife doesn't come to the table, that's got nothing to do with you being with the kids at the table. You can still <laughs> fulfill your responsibility while you're waiting for the change to come. In fact, the sooner you begin fulfilling that responsibility, the sooner you'll begin to see the change. That's where it starts. That's going to be our time for today. But over the next several weeks, we're going to keep talking about this topic of manhood because we want all of the men to become kingdom men and start rising up so that you can experience all that God has for your legacy because it's your legacy at stake. Again, you can get Kingdom Family Devotional so that you can start this process at TonyEvans.org. You can also watch the vlog that I have on my YouTube channel where I'm doing this with my family so that you can see it and experience it. Um, Jonathan Evans, if you go to YouTube and just check out, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll see all of the many vlogs that we put up that have to do with a father and his family to encourage you in that way. Thank you guys. Can't wait to keep talking about this next week.